Hi folks, uh, I just wanted to bring you an update. I, I just I posted this uh, other video as an update and it just became kind of a distraction. I, I had one, uh, one user comment that the picture behind me looked like a halo of roses around my head. And, and so, so I'm going to keep my uh, updates out here in the shop so nobody gets confused. Um, but you know, I, and I, no comments on the economy. I just want to get straight to the point here. Uh, in the works I have a much larger wing lift turbine on the drawing board and this turbine my goal is to get uh, at least five times more energy than than my first project here uh, and for about the same cost or less and and this turbine here is surprisingly very efficient to the wind uh, from what I when I what I checked on it and I think I'd be very hard pressed to to build a turbine that is more efficient to the wind than this one and scaling this design up would be very costly uh, it would get into a you know it, it could be done and, and and any of you that want to go go ahead and do that this is an efficient design and if you want to scale it up and, and use exactly the specs that you that I have in my videos there um, you probably do very well with that but um, it, would, it, it would become a, a very intensive project and so the the project I have is, is a wing lift turbine and uh, one of the problems with uh, building a wing lift turbine is you got to build these wings and, and any of you that uh, maybe say built a, a radio control airplane or something like that you know is that building you know these wings from spars and so forth and um, can become a very uh, labor intensive and and complex um, type of project you know requires some precision cutting and, and so forth, and I, and I want to avoid that because I want to keep this these you know this these projects easily accessible to just the just the average Joe in the shop. Um, otherwise, it just becomes you know something that it just becomes a little too overwhelming. And I have a design for uh, building these wings that I believe will work very well, and is not labor intensive and very inexpensive. And so, you know, it, it, it should work out very well. And uh, so this will be a real flexible design and um, uh, it will be wing lift vertical axis turbine. So, uh, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and, uh, and stay tuned. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to bring this to you soon, this fall. So, um, all right. God bless. Catch you guys soon. Bye.